do cricketers enjoy the way DRS works? Yes, I think um, the players can see um, the benefits of DRS. They um, enjoy DRS. There are certainly a few things that need changing with it, I think. Um, and I think if we are going to use DRS, if we are going to take the time out, the right decision has to be made at the end of it. There is no point going through everything and then still making a wrong decision because um, the technology broke down or the stump mic wasn't turned up or whatever, whatever the reason is. So if we are going to use DRS, which I think we should, um, I think it is the right way forward, um, we have to get the right decision, the right outcome at the end. I, I was speaking to someone the other day and they actually made a very good point that <clears throat> umpiring on the field, being a third umpire or television umpire, are two very different things. So is there a case that actually you need people trained to be a TV umpire mm. and people trained to be an on-pitch umpire? Yeah, well, it's actually two yeah, they're different jobs working now. On that. Yeah, they're certainly working on can specialists. I, can I just come in and say that, yes. you know, I mean, because this is the MCC uh, food for thought, uh, as far as, you know, you, you get your two challenges wrong, you could still get a howler later on. So the DRS, you know, the, the main purpose is, is not quite served uh, because of that. What if you had a situation where every batsman was given just one appeal? Just one appeal, one challenge. And what if every bowler was given one challenge? Oh, Stuart Broad would hate that. No. <laughs> I think what would happen is that only if the bat batsman was 100%. Today, a lot of batsmen take, take a chance. Look, maybe, maybe it's going over the top. Maybe let me take. So I think if you give every batsman just one challenge, every bowler just one challenge, Food, for, Food thought. for thought. I'm not saying it should happen, but you know, I mean, here we Food are. Food for thought. Yeah. In a forum, YouTube. Food for thought. 